Hey, it's Don. I just wanted to do a quick setup with a Solo Shot 3. Um, got this thing yesterday. Ordered it September 29th of 2015. Today's November 8th of 2017. So it took a long time to get it, as you all know. Um, yesterday updated it with no issues. Had problems with the SD card. We went through, th tried three different cards, um, Alexar and SanDisk, both that were on the list. None of them would read, kept getting a card error of 1404. Tried calling Solo Shot, no one answered. Went to Best Buy, bought another high performance card, like a $100 one, a SanDisk 128 Ultra, Ultra Pro, and brought that home and got the same results, card error. And then after repeatedly shutting it down three or four times and restarting it, then suddenly it started reading the card. So I don't know if there was a problem with the card or if there was a problem with Solo Shot. I'm assuming it's the uh, latter. Anyway, it's working now. I sent Solo Shot an email. Haven't heard back from him about it yet. Um, so anyway, I'm in Colorado. It's about 34 degrees out here today. Don't have a cool surf background. Just out in the field with my dog and thought I would go through how this thing sets up for the people who haven't got it yet. Um, I'll be using a GoPro, the solo shot itself, as well as my cell phone. So got the camera mounted on the tripod. It's the tripod, the free tripod that solo shot sent out for waiting so long. It's not bad, but it's all plastic. It probably won't last very long. So if you're looking at if you need a tripod, get a better one. This one's not going to last. Um. So, we're going to power it on. You press and hold that button for three seconds. It seems to go through this screen about three times. four times now. So next you get a power on a tag. Press and hold it. Actually it's just a single press. They're really hard to read outside. It's not even sunny and you can barely make out the LEDs on them. Go to tags. You have tracking preferences. Mine's already set on auto. And then hit track. Choose your field. We're out in the field, so I'm going to go with field and then calibrate. So we're in a two minutes so far of getting it powered up. So this is the only second time I've used this, so I uh, I might have missed a step or two, but so far I think I've got it right so far. So we're at three minutes now and we're at 40% on the calibration from the time I powered the camera on.
All right, so then you get a success and it goes live. Now it's supposed to point at where the tag's at, but I've realized already that if you're too standing too close to it, it never finds the tag. So in order to do the next part, we get to back away from it. And then as soon as you get away from it, then it seems to start looking for you. So this is the part where you're supposed to zigzag around. So I'll make a couple zigzags here. And it looks like it's tracking me now. So now I'm gonna go get my assistant and we're gonna see how it works. So this is my assistant. Her name's Jazz. She's gonna be modeling the tag for us. It fits around her collar sort of, but it's not pointing up. So we're gonna see if that makes a difference. We'll go out and do some running around here. So one more thing I forgot to add is the display screen. So it's got a preview window and unfortunately you can't change the zoom or anything on it yet. Again, not ready from solo shot. So if you go into that control right there, that's where the zoom should be, but it does nothing. The remote control from the phone app doesn't work as well. Still waiting six to eight weeks. If you go into the drop down menu, go to settings, camera settings, uh, let's see, that here, track settings. This is where you find your uh, modes, your field of view. So on that with the dog, I was, uh, mode was filled, the field of view was tight, framing was center. And then you can change your trajectory. That's if you, if it loses its signal, it'll keep looking in the same angle it was going when it lost the signal for three seconds to try to try to find it obviously something didn't work earlier because it lost me completely and i have no idea what zoom lock and tilt and zoom lock work yet but or what they do so that's that hope it helps hope they work out the bugs i i was excited to get this thing and now it's kind of like eh it's all right we'll see i'm sure it's great for surfing All right, so we ran around a little bit. It looked like it kept up with her pretty good. I'll go back home and see what the footage looks like. So we're back at our site. I went home to download the uh, footage and discovered there was nothing on the disc. So I started thinking maybe I forgot to hit record. I got back here and set it back up and I'm getting a card message saying not, not available. Although when I go into setup, it shows that it's there and sometimes it blinks back and forth. So not real sure what's going on. Um, just set it up again. We're gonna try to uh, record it and see if maybe I made a mistake. But right now it looks like it's kind of being buggy. All right, well, as you can see, it's much nicer now. This is the third time out. The first two didn't record anything. I thought I was uh, losing my mind and not pushing the record button, but as it turns out, it was a card error problem. The same one I was having yesterday. A call into uh, tech support, which they actually answered this time, forced an update into the camera, and that seems to have resolved it. Um, tech support said it's a known bug that they're working on, and they're actually releasing a full update later this afternoon that should take care of it. So anybody's having SD card problems, Call them, get it updated. Hopefully that'll fix your problem. So we're gonna try this one final time. I'm gonna get my assistant here.
All right, so that was the uh, final footage of it. The, uh, it actually started working pretty good towards the end of the day. I was just using Power Director here to put this little clip together. So um, the updates seemed to help a bunch. It, um, it just made it, everything work a lot better. So time will tell. Um, I know they have a lot more work to do on it. I'm glad they actually got the camera into our hands. Um, be nice if it was a little farther along, but it is what it is. I keep playing with it. Hope the, hope the video is helpful to somebody. I know it was probably really boring to most. But um, that's all I got. Thanks. Have a great night.